Hey everybody, this is Nick Johnson and this is my beautiful wife, Adina Johnson. And uh, we are here today to uh, do one of our Mind of a Man segments. And uh, I am the man, this is my mind. Um, this is where she will go and discuss a topic um, that's out there, um, get my perspective, um, and then we kind of go from there. Um, as I do it, please know that um, this is kind of off the cuff yeah. in most cases. Um, I, I don't read a script. Uh, we just kind of go from there. Um, Sometimes please. I'll give you a history of the yeah, topic because you, you are like not involved. If I do need some context, so like I said, this is mind of a man. Um, I'll say it again at the end, um, but please make sure to put your comments and things down at the bottom. Yeah. Um, subscribe, um, contact us as well. As far as um, we have email, other ways to contact us down there as well. Questions, stuff like that. So, all right. So, what's on deck for today? Well, what I wanted to talk today about is Megan Good. And I think I did share with you the video where her husband, someone, uh, mm -hmm. they were like at an event and the lady was kind of rude to her by saying, yeah. we're going to cover up, right? And yeah. she's an actress. She is her own woman. You can't tell anyone what to do. So um, what are your thoughts? Um, she was on another show a talk show and she said that she doesn't like to go to church with her husband her husband is a, a preacher mm. so she doesn't like to go to church with her husband because sometimes christian folk aren't too nice and that was one of the things the pastor was talking about today too mm. yeah um i'll break this up in two parts okay uh -oh, two, um, parts. two parts okay uh one thing i'm gonna do as far as in these two parts i'm gonna say that i'll address the topic of how she may you know the person making the comments about the way she's dressed mm -hmm. the other part i will discuss um the situation saying that she doesn't go to church at all right. um the first part um i'm going to say that um she um first of all she is um she might be um somebody of faith or she's not amish Okay. So, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I mean, she's gonna dress a particular way. Yeah. And with her being a, an, an actress, there is a certain allure that you have to have, I think, in uh, being an actress. You know. Um, so now, granted, what we're we saying that you know, if she got a low cut, you know, top or something's kind of risque, um, what's what's the thoughts about it? Um, I feel like this. There are a lot. I don't like saying a lot, but there are many individuals out there who is doing uh, more of a disservice to the faith uh, than she is by wearing whatever she's wearing. Wearing whatever she wants um, to wear at her club. Based on the things that they're doing. Okay, so right. I'm not necessarily freaking out because she's like wearing whatever on there. Mm -hmm. um, her, her things are being targeted at um, adults. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, as long as those things are being uh, targeted at adults, I really don't see much of a an issue there. Uh, I mean, as long as her and her husband are in agreement to what she's doing, yeah, uh, that's fine. So I really don't have a whole big issue um, with that. I almost put that in the same um, boat as uh, Erica Campbell from Mary Mary. Yeah. Okay. Um, how people are kind of trying to shame her with some of the stuff that she was wearing. Um, I mean, and I've seen some of the stuff she was wearing, and I mean. She was covered up. She covered up. Now, I think what it is, I mean... Because she's curvy. She just got a particular body style. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it just is what it is, you know. I don't know where she's from, but, I mean, she's like, she, she, I was in the country. I mean, I don't know. As she's far as from Eaglewood, California. Oh, well, she's from Eaglewood? Okay, that ain't the country, but... No, uh, but <laughs> I I think, go. But she's just built, you know what yeah, I mean? she's it's built. Just, it just is what she is, you know. So, I don't think, uh, and like some of the one of the ones I remember seeing, I mean, she was pretty much completely covered. It was just, you know, yeah. Well, it was just a fitting dress, and that thing. Yeah. I mean, but that's the thing, and and that's the whole. That's part of the problem. So often we, as Christian folk, turn individuals off because of being so judgmental and mm -hmm. saying cover up, cover up. Yeah. Did I think what the lady said was shocker? Where you just don't go back to church? No. Yeah. I mean, we've all have had people to say things to us in church, and we're like, whoa, wait a minute, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I think, I mean, she's an actress. You have to get mm -hmm. rejected all the time. So, mm -hmm. to not support your husband, you know, at church, 
Which, I mean, we've had a situation, and I, I, I talked about this. We're, we've been going to church. We always have gone to church. But we've mm-hmm. changed churches over the years. Mm-hmm. Was it a difficult decision? Yes, absolutely. We just changed churches after when we first got married. We went to a church, and that was right before 2000. That pastor married us and everything. And around 2003, we left that church because we just didn't see eye to eye. And there were some hurtful things that happened, but we did not stop going to church. I mean, mm-hmm. and you can have a relationship with God and not go to church, but the Bible does say assemble with other believers. So mm-hmm. that's important to part of your faith and part of, you know, being around other people that are like minded with you. And then we went to a different church from 2003 till this year. Mm-hmm. Actually, late last year. Yeah, it was like October last so year. So we, yeah, we stopped going to that church in October mm-hmm. because we just didn't, we no longer felt comfortable there. Mm-hmm. So we were at one church for 12 years. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it was difficult to transition our children because they were born at that church. And mm-hmm. now we're at a different church. Will we not, will we not go to church because of church folk? No. Yeah, I think it's unrealistic to feel like, I mean, I'm sure at some point we go to our job. Somebody may have heard us at our job, but we're like, I ain't going back there. Yeah. What you do? You find another job. Yeah. You know, so I mean, find another church. You continue to you yeah know? feed your family. And that's what I, I had the same discussion on Facebook. And somebody was like, well, we're not getting paid to go to church. Yeah, but you have people that you don't like that say slick stuff to you at work. You keep going to work. I mean, it mm-hmm. just is what it is. Yeah, you know, you can justify whatever you want to. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, so, I mean, that's the case. Um, and the second part of that, to me, is that... Oh, um It's okay, the second that. part. The second part was as far as her not necessarily going to church. Um, to, in, in my opinion, um, him being the pastor there, I think it puts... I'm sorry, a, he's a minister. Excuse he me, goes being a, a minister yeah. there. Okay. Um, he even not being a pastor, being a minister, he's still in a particular uh, position of authority, where individuals look at him um, as an example. Yeah. Um, and my thing would be okay. Well, you know, if I come to you for counsel or guidance or whatever, uh, in the back of my head, would I be thinking, man, you know, um, your wife doesn't come to church with you, man. You know, can I really, you know, not to say that you, you, what you could be saying could be extremely knowledgeable. I mean, it could be sound and everything else, but you know, to me, it's going to. Uh, hinder your your um your witness yeah your witness um and your effectiveness i think just from that so i would think that more or less if there's an issue i'll say all right come with me anybody come at you the wrong way i don't just have to deal with it yeah you know i mean like when you show me the video he was like no 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 we ain't having that yeah well, he hey, supported his wife for if sure if that's the case you know i have it you know i'll say right there with my wife i'll be holding her hand i like i wish a joker would right yeah uh, yeah, she, it, and you know? she was hurt by that. I truly hope that's not the instance that has stopped her from supporting her husband. And, it, and this is the question, honey. Who is that? She probably don't even know this person name. If that is the case, right? Who? Who? I I can't let nobody. It's almost like it's people. I remember like used to be this show. Um, was it Mother Love? Forgive and forget. Yeah. From way back in the day. Yeah. All right. Well, people used to come on there and be like, well, you know, um, I remember you used to bully me at lunch, and you know, it's haunted me for the last twenty five years of my life. If the person were like, who? You? What? Yeah. So I I can't have nobody impacting my life who really don't have a whole lot of you know um, long term value to right. me. Right. You know. So my thing is that um you know people gonna say what they're gonna say, um we just gotta you know shake the dust off and keep it moving. You know. Yeah. Um, but, but I would definitely you know not only in that situation but you know I think it's important not just as a wife you know um, supporting a husband a husband supporting their wives also. Yeah. So I mean when we get the the ability you know to or the opportunity to um, support them. And encourage them, whatever we need to, right. you know, because um, what happens, you never know. You don't want to allow um, you know, Satan to get a foothold. So, yeah, that's true. Okay. So that's a valid point. Yeah, so that's it. So as far as my thing is, I mean, she can do what she want to. Um, as far as I mean, she, she is trying to do it. You know, as long as her and her husband, they, you know, they touching the ground how she's doing it. But as far as the church matter, I'm like, you know what? Um, let's let's go back down. You know, and if it's just an issue as far as we come to that church. Uh, maybe he need to look at possibly being a minister in another church. But I mean, yeah. I would think that, you know, you need to try to stay together in that one. And I do think people at church can be hurtful uh, from time to time. I know uh, earlier years ago when you felt like 
we were at a, at the other church that we were at and you felt like I was checking out you made changes we went to yeah. a different Sunday school class you know we we did things differently because you were supporting me and even when I didn't realize I was just like okay if you want to be in this class oh well then I but you know me well enough to know okay she's not feeling this she's checking out I don't mm-hmm. want her to not have a good experience here at church yeah. So you made adjustments for that. Yeah, you know, I, uh, a, as a husband, I feel so I just can't be a roadblock. You know, um, if there's something I think that there's going to be, um, I'm held accountable. So, you know, um, so I just want to do whatever I can to encourage, you know, everybody in my, in my family to do what's best for them. So, mm-hmm. that's it. So, um, so that's the goods on the goods. Mm-hmm. So that's it. No, it's Franklin's. She oh, she changed her name? Good. Why would she call her Megan Good then? Well, she hasn't changed her name, but Is you it good can't, Franklin? Franklin? But you can't call her her you can't call her husband her last name. I never called him. You said the goods. No, like the goods on good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wasn't saying, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know dudes. <laughs> I don't know his name. No okay. disrespect, but I mean, I don't Sorry. know it. So I said, so um, this that's that's you the don't word. Know his name, I don't do you? No. You are so I out don't. of the loop when it comes to these topics that goes on. What what do you? Th- hey, You're not involved in anybody's business. You I'm just trying. Kinda... I'm out here trying to get to retirement. So yes. I said, I'm out here trying to chase this. <laughs> I ain't trying to chase. Well, I mean, I need paper to retire, so I'm just out here. I'm, paper. I'm, I'm about money matters. So I'm, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to do most of the time. You know, I. I in sports, I do get in sports, but um, that's so if it. he was a sports player, you would know him. I'll have probably a better idea, especially if he was on my fantasy football team. I'll probably have a real good idea. Who and I was. wouldn't have a clue. Nothing at all. <laughs> so so um, with that being said, um, I think we're about at time for this one. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. All so, right. Um, like, share, subscribe, and yes. we look forward to reading what you feel in the comments. Let's have a discussion about it and let's do it respectfully. I mean, we can all have a difference of opinion and there's nothing wrong with that. But let's just talk about it and and see if we can share a different perspective and and learn and grow. Absolutely. Well, thank you all. Um, Once again, it's been Nick and Adina Johnson. And we hope that you all have a great day. Yes, thank you.